Hello viewers, in this session, we are going to learn about how to read and write the XML file using Apache Spark with Java. And this is the file which we are going to read. And you can see that root food, root tag is breakfast underscore menu, and the root tag is food, and the items name, price, and description. Fine. So, before going to start the, the reading the operation of XML file, I want to share with you. So in a spar, there is no inbuilt function to handle the XML file. If you want to handle the XML file, we have to download the library from the Maven. And so this is the library and we will get the latest version here. And we will get the latest version is 2.13. Lead to paste in build or gradle. Fine, that's all. Start out downloading the library. And meanwhile, we'll go and create a simple Java program to read, write, read XML. I'm going to create a simple main method. Going to create the Spark session. Builder dot app name. App name is called read underscore x one dot master as a local get create. That's how we have created the Spark session. Now we need to load this Spark session for XML file in here. And Spark session dot read dot format. Here we have to define com dot data bricks dot spark dot XML dot load. Here we have to define the file path. We get the file path. Read XML dot class get resource. We need to define the file name file dot XML get path. We need to define it here file path. Fine. Let us assign it to data set. And we have to add some more additional options like you know, root tag, and we have to define the root tag. So, here we can see that breakfast underscore menu is a root tag. Here I have to define and food is the row tag here i have to define fine even though the row tag and the row tag is a optional one but it's a mandatory to define what is the root tag and the row tag the reason if we not define the file will get loaded into the data set but it doesn't know what is the value of that so we have to define what is the root tag and the row tag okay let print the schema and let's see the data in the data set make the data as false and write the data in the same XML file I'm sorry same in XML format now I'm going to write the data in the XML format 
and the same similar data which are available in the data set in format as an XML. Here I have to define the full the path. Here so I am going to define just the folder name in the XML file. And while well, right also, it is a uh, um, it's an optional one to define that uh, root and uh, root tag. But if you not define the uh, Spark, will automatically will assign some name. The name the root name is like you know root tag in the name rows and root tag in the name of row so but here is something different right the root tag is breakfast and the root tag is food so we want in the same name we have to define it in this option so they're just a similar thing so i'm just going to copy paste here And that's all about for the read and write for the XML file that I'm going to run the program. Started compiling. I could able to see some Spark log. Scott failed. What happened? No point exception. Where it is. Yeah. yeah, that's it. Now I'm going to run the program. Let's see. Able to see some spark log. Yeah, start out printing the schema. I could be able to see some there. Uh, oh. So this is the data you can see in the description two different variety and good for health. And then another one, the good. And the names called dosa, fish and chips and the pizza. And the cost is 50, 150. And also we can see the schema with the data types, the root, we have three different fields, description, name, price, and the description and the name is a string and the price is long. And let's see the file. So here is the file in the XML. So we have defined this folder name as XML file, right? So here it is. I just open. So this is the file, you can see. So this is the one. So just similar to the same XML file. Fine. So if you have doubts or clarification or any suggestion, please share in the command section. Thanks for watching.